takes a lot of thinking about who I am, where I've come from, what I wanted to do. After leaving a 40-year career in publishing, 65-year-old Louisa Helligers says self-reflection was essential in helping her figure out what to do next. What I wanted to do was what I had been doing my whole career, which is to serve and to give back um, in various ways to the community. She's using skills she hadn't thought of initially, focusing on people, not publishing. I interviewed and hired and trained a lot of people, and I think that's part of the the piece that's making me um, successful here. She's now a human resources executive, working as director of organizational development at the Center for Employment Opportunities, a nonprofit organization that helps men and women who are just getting out of jail get into a job. Our sole focus is helping formerly incarcerated individuals find and keep employment, especially in the critical days right after they were released. Beth Kempner, a 54-year-old former advertising executive, is director of public affairs at the organization. Like Helligers, she found this position through a nonprofit agency that helps people find a second act that serves the greater good. There are as many as 9 million people between the ages of 44 and 70 who are getting paid for work that combines their personal passion with a social purpose. That's according to the nonprofit think tank Encore.org. Another 31 million are interested in making the leap into what's known as Encore Careers. They're seeking new careers in the nonprofit world, healthcare, education, and government. While doing altruistic work can mean a cut in pay, having some income can help those who aren't ready to retire just yet. Most people are not in a position to fully retire in the kind of the traditional sense at a quote unquote normal retirement age. The simple fact is most people are not in a position to accumulate enough assets so they need to be able to pursue other forms of income to supplement that lifestyle so that it can last as long as they do. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Sharon Epperson.